Well, the Indianapolis Public Library System is hoping for a multi-million dollar boost for new libraries and renovations, but the proposal must first get past a council committee, which they vote tonight. Sunrise reporter Carrie Klein is live on North Sherman with more on the plans and the need for change. Good morning, Carrie. Hey, good morning, Julia. The library system consists of about two dozen branches, but not all of them belong to the system. Some of them, like the Brightwood branch here in this strip mall, are rented spaces, and it's part of the five-year strategic plan to replace the rented spaces in outdated locations with permanent new buildings that are more easily accessible to the public. Now, while libraries may seem like a thing of the past, now that people have greater access than ever before to information online, through a wide range of devices, the numbers show library users really continues to grow. Uh, well, while more people come to the library, the circulation number of actual books is actually starting to level out. So the Indianapolis Library System plans to build six new or replacement libraries that will include less bookshelves and more space for people to get Internet access and Wi-Fi connections. Now, they're planning renovations to another five branches on top of the six new ones they plan to build. This plan is going to cost about $59 million. And, of course, that multi-million dollar question how to pay for all of this? Well, the library system has refinanced their old debt to create some space to be able to pay for this project without raising taxes, and they are very thrilled to announce that. So again, the uh, council committee will vote on this plan tonight. If they approve it, it goes to the full council for a vote in a couple of weeks. Reporting live from the city's Near East Side, Carrie Klein, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Carrie, thank you.